بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال السفر قطعة من العذاب يمنع أحدكم نومه وطعامه وشرابه فإذا قضى أحدكم نهمته من وجهه فليعجل إلى أهله from Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said traveling is a portion of the torment of punishment it denies you your sleep your food your drink when you have accomplished your purpose you should hurry back to your family narrated by Imam Malik in his Muatta Normally, we are in our daily routine, we do the same thing every day. We do not realize things about ourselves, our habits and temperaments, etc. When we travel on a journey, especially with others, these habits slowly, slowly come out. Like we can see from the above hadith that traveling deprives a person from his sleep, his food, his drink, etc. We all know what happens when you take a man's food or sleep away. A person will get angry, get annoyed. So we are starting these Hajj and Umrah tips with this hadith, which is a general hadith, not just for the safar and journey of Hajj or Umrah. If a person travels to another country, even if a person's travelling nationally, um, a person travels from Blackburn to London, the same rule will apply. Safar is Safar. So we would like to remind people that Safar and travelling is not easy, even though in this day and age, the 21st century, Alhamdulillah, through the Fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that travelling has been made very easy. A person can travel from one country to another country in just a few hours. So, before we travel, it is important that we choose our companions correctly. So I would like to narrate the quote of Umar radiallahu anhu, and it's a famous quote about how truly you know a person is only once you have travelled with him. You only truly know a person once you have travelled with him. Umar radiallahu once asked about a man who had given testimony, wanting to find out whether anyone could vouch for him. A man from his companion said, I will vouch for him, O Amirul Mu'mineen. Umar radiallahu anhu said, Oh, okay, are you his neighbor? The man said, No. Umar radiallahu anhu then said, Did you mix with him for a day and come to know his character? The man said, No. He then asked, Did you travel with him? For traveling and being far away from home reveals a man's true essence. The man said, No again. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, Perhaps you saw him in the masjid, standing, sitting and praying. He said, yes, yes, I did. Umar radiallahu anhu got angry and said, go away, for you do not know him. So we can see um, from this quote of Umar radiallahu anhu, that only if you travel with somebody, you will truly know, or you're his neighbor, or you mix with him, you have some sort of dealings. So before you travel, it's very important that you choose the correct companions because as you know, in traveling, much patience is required and we will get to know other people's opinions and you might not have people who are like-minded like you. So this is the first tip. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu an la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayka.